What's going on guys? No guys here. Welcome back to the interactive RTG episode. I want to say episode one, I'll say 0 0.1. Um, this is mainly the web app, web app part and the main episode will probably start when a game comes out. Um, but this is just to get you started and what you can maybe endure. And I, I, the reason I use this account is because it's a it's kind of a brand new account and I only played FIFA very basically last year. So this is what you can expect worst case scenario. Um, so I'm just going to press get started. Now when you choose a league or a nation you have to kind of in some respect be smart. And what, I'm, what I mean by that is you essentially in some respect want to find a nation or a league depending on which team you make. So what I mean by that in particular, if you decide to make, I don't know, let's say, so let me just give you an example, right? So this is the team I'm aiming to make when the game comes out. This is the team, I mean, obviously it's going to cost me a lot of money, um, but I'll try to acquire these players as soon as I can. Now, the first thing I notice is there's a lot of French players in my team. So it might be worth for me to go for France. Now, the reason why I would go for France is there's a chance you can get, you know, like French uh, midfielders or French strikers, and they can act as rotational players. Now, don't forget, these players are untradeable as well, so it depends. So a lot of these players are not going to be used. You're not going to be packing like Ronaldo. You're probably going to be packing... Uh, below 80 rated uh, very most of the time non rare goals so that's what you should be prepared for so I would say yes look at your team and, and you can think you know what if your team has lo mostly Brazilian players or English players you can choose whatever you want um, you you can uh, I suppose you can choose any nation you want England is also another good option simply because the SBCs uh, sometimes you get really good um, the bronze players and the bronze packs you get uh, sometimes you can get some really good uh, starter packs from the English nation so it depends what kind of league you want I'm going to go with France uh, just because that's what you might choose and you can obviously do it with me if you're following me exactly how it is now this will be your team you'll have a team you might have some so as you can see I got some French here I got Kamara which is actually a really good French card um, Marseille as well um, you can see I got is it Mopai and um, Grenier. So I actually got three decent French players, so they could be used as rotational players. And I got a couple of French strikers and uh, it's a few French players. So that's what is really important. That's why it's, it's somewhat important that you pick that pack. Um, you pick a pack, especially with the league you're choosing. Now, the first thing is you do, you swap for a high rated player. Now, depending on where you swap, so if you swap a goalkeeper, you'll get an option to choose a goalkeeper. Same with the defender, defender. Now, obviously, the, the what I would say is go through every position, left back and right back, uh, just look roughly at what's available and choose the best player. Um, I think that's probably your best bet. So I'm just going to go through really see there's the best player. I see Modric is probably the, the main player that's standing out for me at the moment. And go left mids. Coleman is, Coleman is, don't forget as well with my team, um, because I'm making this team, I think, you know, Coleman actually be a good super sub. So I probably, I probably make, make it sort of going with Coleman. Let's see what other strikers do. Lewandowski, Aguero. Now you see, a lot, you can argue that these players, people, some people save these players for later on. I would suggest using them in a, in a couple, first couple of games of rivals just to get your placement points. It's up to you how you want to use them. Um, I'm going to end up going with, um, with Coleman for the simple fact I got eight loans on him. Whereas if I went with Luis Suarez, a better player, I've only got four lone players. And obviously, Coleman fits and integrates right into my team. So you just press continue on that. Um, and once you've done that, you'll be able to choose your kit. These are untradeable, I think, again. Uh, so it doesn't really matter. I mean, I suppose you can choose the most aesthetically pleasing kit. That's actually a really nice kit. I don't know uh, what team that is, but that is... Uh, well, I know what team it is now, but um, I've never seen that kit before. And choose your home and awake it. Try to obviously use opposite colors. Don't forget now AI. There is like this new AI kind of thing with FIFA. So um, when you when you play foot champions or you play rivals, I think you could possibly uh, AI determines the kit differences. So don't pick two white kits, for example. Try to pick two different kits. And the badge, I suppose you can. What's the most aesthetically pleasing here? Um, I go with this one. It's just an overview, and that's it. The journey begins. Um, so when you start, you if you played FIFA 19, you should get a rare, rare gold kit. Now, every single time you log into the web app up until the game starts, I think it's the 27th of September, you would get a reward. So you might get 500 coins, you might get a silver pack, you might get a gold pack, you might get, even get 7.5k coins. You can get really lucky. And most of these packs are tradable as well. So every single time, every day at the bare minimum, just try to log in. Even if you don't have EA access and you don't and you're not getting a game until the 27th, 
just log in and get your rewards up. So it's going to claim those. Now, if you played if you played FIFA 19, um, you would have got another message saying, uh, basically saying there's a loyalty bonus and there's a chance you could get. Um, what I mean by that is there's a big massive chance that you can actually get a coin boat, a coin boost. Sorry, should I say? Now I'm just going to quickly show you an example. Um, I did I did record some footage using my other account. And I'm just going to quickly show you um, on my other screen. Uh, just quickly show you the rewards that I obtained. Um, just to give you an example, and that's the reason why I didn't want to use that account because not. So this is what I rec rec recorded. So should I say? So as you can see, I got the coin boost, 1,000 coins for 15 matches. Not everyone got that. Um, I don't know how it works. I think is if you played um, FIFA 19 last year and you played a foot champions. Apparently, that's the rumor. I'm not too sure. Um, and then obviously uh, from there, you obviously get the login rewards. I got different. You get different rewards, and then you go to the packs now. This is obviously my Neil Guides account. This is the account I used last year. Now, depending if you're playing this game from scratch or you're playing uh, or you played it last year, you will get some starter packs. Now, this is, uh, I suppose you can say, an account I made last year, but I didn't play it that much. So, this is, you can argue, sometimes I would say it's a balance between bear, being the bare minimum, but I won't be getting anything extra. So, I haven't got, I won't be getting any, any amazing loyalty packs whatsoever. But as you can see, we get a bronze pack, all players pack three times. Now, these bronze packs, uh, just open these, store them in a club, do not quick sell anyone, do not quick sell consumables. First of all, quick selling is redundant, it's no point doing that, you're just going to get 19 coins, it's no use doing that. Store everyone in the club, um, and just open the rest of your packs, that's the only thing you can do really right now open your packs I get a goalkeeper here and what you can do is when you get these players is you can either decide do you want to use them in your squad or do you want to sell them a player like sells now don't forget um, right now the market is a bit inflated now these are all I think these are these I suppose you can say a bit inflated for now I'm gonna put all the gold players on a transfer list just for now um, and I'm gonna store the rest of my club uh, because silver players I can use for the SPCs and bronze players I can use for the SPCs as well, which I'll get on to. But you want to open your packs. You, don't listen. There's a big chance you will probably get nothing. Do not worry. Um, as I said, don't quick sell anyone. Just store the bronze and silver players and keep all the gold players again. So we're going to do that again. So we get we get a Van Dyke loan here. Uh, so we get three loan cards. I think every single person gets I got this on my other account as well. So you get Van Dyke, Sancho, and Vinicius Jr. You should get three of the same. Again, store them in the club. Now, um, what you'd probably realize is, so let's say you're like me, a worst case scenario, you're in a situation where says your account has not earned access to the transfer market or the web apps yet. Continue playing. So now you're kind of stuck. Now, what you can do is you're kind of, there's not much you could do. You can't really compare the price. You can't really access the market. So you're basically stuck. Um, Generally speaking, you have to wait for EA Access to come out. Once you log on to EA Access, um, then you can obviously play the game or early access. Or if you're going to get this to stand the game on the 27th, unfortunately, you're going to have to wait till the 27th. Um, unfortunately, but if you have, if you do have access to market, do obviously sell your gold cards. Try to accumulate as, as much money as you can. I would strongly suggest doing the SPCs. Um, so like, let's get started. Um, try to do it backwards. So. Um, if you're new to this, just use your squad builder. And remember, we, we got some bronze players in our team. Do you remember that? We we, packed, we got those bronze. Um, you can start doing uh, some of these squad builders. Now, there's a big chance, for example, you're probably like me and you might not have the players. So go squad builder, place players. Um, uh, just search it like that. And uh, as you can see, it seems to be that, I, that normally this will make it for you automatically. But I think... In this instance, we, we can't even get the chemistry. So basically, the reason why you want to work backwards is this is the hardest one. So basically, what you want to do is see if you can do the, all these SPCs. If you can't, worst case scenario, do this one and work your way forward. So exchange a player. I would probably do a very off league, which is, for example, um, I'll, I'll probably do, I'll search for players in an off league. So what I'll do is I go to work area, search for a league. Because as I said, you want to retain or you can you can argue that the players are worth value. So maybe the off leagues, so a search for a league. So basically, don't do, if you get a, let's say, um, English uh, League 2, we don't have any players from there. Don't do any of the major leagues. Which what I'm trying to say is a lot of these players are going to be worth a lot of money. Try to an off league like, you know, Brazil or a league 
or a league where you play, you don't have that many players. So say for example in this, um, I'll get rid of this guy. I don't think I've got anyone else in that league. I'll submit it. Exchange the players. Um, do not press submit and don't do not press this submit and don't tell me again. Press submit anyway. The reason why you want that message to keep appearing, just in case one day you make a mistake in the future, you get a bronze pack. Then you'll get some more cards, and you can basically work your way up from there. Uh, so then I'll go back to the SPC. Um, I'll do the second step. So I need 12 chemistry, so I just need two links. I'm going to try using a squad builder again. Um, again, bronze players build. And as you can see, it's done it for me. It's picked three players. Give me the chemistry as well. Um, if you want to be extra anal about this, you can obviously figure out, you know, which players are in which nation. Um, and then maybe choose the off nations uh, because you only need 12 chemistry. But just to save some time, I want to do that. And then what you can do is you can start to accumulate one by one, step by step, you get more and more packs. So as you can see, I get another bronze pack. Um, we actually get a lot more players this time. And we, and we get 100, 100 coins, which is actually pretty decent. Store them all to the club again. And basically, we're going to keep repeating this process. Uh, this is um, the minimum step you want to go to. So again, we're going to use a squad builder. We're going to replace players. Now you see, because you can't, in some respect, because you can't, um, use the market you're basically stuck now uh there's not that much you could do so try to do whatever you can within your region so again i'm going to search for bronze uh I'll, I'll try again don't think there's any um i do i do remember there was some french players if we can maybe somehow get chemistry you need three nationalities so ideally here um three nationalities in one league so what you so what i would actually do here actually is i would go and I'll start searching the leagues one by one. So the first league I will do is Premier League, no one there, EFL 2. And basically, you don't have to do this manually. So as you can see here, um, problem is I don't think we have three leagues here. We have Ireland, England, no, we only have two, we only have two nations. Don't forget, you can always see the requirements here, as he says, three nationalities in the squad. So it is, I'll be honest, it is tedious. Do not expect too much, um, to be completely honest, from the, from I suppose you can say uh, <laughs> it's it's kind of it's one where I think that you need to be smart. You need to be conservative. I think that generally speaking, you're not going to be making a lot of money on a web app. Don't get it twisted like you're going to be making thousands. I guarantee you even the big top traders, they probably struggle on the market as well. It's just the way it is and how it is. It's just very difficult. I'm probably going to go with two French players here. Um, I'm going to go with a. Uh, I think uh, that's a center mid. Um, uh, what league is he in? Player bio is in league one. He's in league two. So I'm probably going to go with um, two French players. Um, if we can get league and former. So there we have the green link. So now we just need two players. Um, that's it. Just two. I think two random players should do. So if we search for our left mid, um, any I think should suffice. If we take him, oops, we take him. I think we just add any right mid here. We've got no right mids in the club, so I suppose we can use an un another position. We could use centre mids or right backs. You could use a right back as well. Um, we're just going to use this right back in the end. Actually, no, do you know what? We'll keep this right back, so we're just going to look for a player. Don't forget, centre mids and right backs can get chemistry um, here in this position. I'll see if we have uh, an off position. Do we have any cams? No. I suppose we can get rid of uh, this guy here. And there we go. Exchange players submit um, and you're going to get the bronze packs and we're going to get two untradeable this is the bare minimum you want to kind of be at and basically you're going to get more bronze players um that's actually a very good uh, if that's untradeable if that was worth my any money you probably could sell that and um, then you could obviously go through the spcs uh i would recommend you know let's get forward i wouldn't recommend too much especially because you don't you don't have access to the market you're only going to have eight uh, you have to submit eight players I mean, 11 players for just one card is not worth it. Um, however, you know, some of these, you know, these are actually quite good. You know, if you can build yourself up um, and try to get these, uh, that's one way of making money. Um, the second way is by using a bronze pack method. That's where you purchase a bronze pack. Once you obtain, if you do obtain some coins, you can use a bronze pack method. But because if you're restricted to the market, again, you're stuck. Now, we're just going to open this two players pack. Let's see if we get anyone here. This is untradeable. Mandana, perfect, uh, perfect. We can use him. 
that will do that will just get the club starting so now you as you can see you're piecing together a basic squad it's not the best squads but you can start piecing together a bare minimum squad now because i chose because i chose france and as i said the team i wanted to use was this team um i might have to obviously reconsider now so obviously now i know i haven't got that much money i haven't got that many coins uh, i'm just going to search for all the gold players try to make the best squads you have so i got mandanda so that's where zingo and goal and uh, we swap we swap this put him so as you can see we haven't got the best of players but the team is slowly taking shape and then what it is now to be honest the harsh reality is now you're probably gonna have to wait until the web app comes out this is i mean to the actual game comes out on ea access this is one of the unfortunate things but i thought it was very important for me to start it on like a very basic level just so you understand um eventually every single day you're going to rack up more and more i suppose you can say coins by obviously the, the objectives one thing I would say to you is you do get the daily rewards as well, so you can rack up coins that way. There are there are these objectives. Uh, if you go home and go to objectives, you can pick up these milestones, um, and you can do some of these challenges. Now these are mainly for these milestones are mainly for the games, so I wouldn't I wouldn't probably go towards them because those are mainly for you know winning squad battles, winning rivals. However, you do have season objectives. So you can have daily objectives. So for example, go to the transfer market. Unfortunately, I can't do the objective. Um, play two matches so these are daily objectives you want to complete now obviously you don't have access to the game but there might be some objectives on the web app for example apply a chemistry style apply a contract something like that and basically what you want to do is you want to come to a point where you've got a decent amount of money you've got a decent squad so when the game comes out on the 27th or whenever you're starting the team you can just get into a couple of squad battles games and just to get your team up just to get your rewards up maybe play a couple of rival games but that's going to be the first episode that's going to be the starting episode as i said i've done this on a base level i've also done this on my second account as well um but i'll be releasing that in a second uh in my next video but anyway if you have any questions do let me know down below as i said do not worry too much about the web app there's not that much honestly and truthfully you could do on a web app um if you do have access to the market obviously sell your gold players and do begin trading anyway guys thank you very much for watching and i'll catch you in the next one